well, we all knew this one was coming. It's a big okay, bye. Proceeds to go back in time and prevent Andrew Hussey's birth. You fool. Homestuck was a necessary evil in order to prevent Super Hulak from being the only Phantom on Tumblr. You've changed the future for the worse, and now you have to write Homestuck to fix this timeline. Oh, God, no. Do you have it in hell, like, feel remorse? Do the angels weep and mourn for the comrades that fell to hell or express doubt in their God's unconditional love and might? Lucifer was a wise being, a high-ranking angel, yet he fell victim to the sin of envy. Who's to say that the angels still devote to God weren't immune to such emotions themselves? Do the devils regret believing Lucifer's philosophies and choosing his side, and now knowing they can never return to paradise? If this was God's way of expressing tough love, how long will the punishment last? The fallen angels laid restless, unable to sleep to the shrieks of the damned. In that moment, neither heaven nor hell realized the concept they had birthed. A concept too dangerous for either domain. And so it has plagued the mortal realm the moment mankind took his first breath. Worry. Doubt. Dread. Anxiety. Jesus. Yeah, a little too deep there, Tumblr. Today I learned Matthew Lillard originally screamed till his voice went hoarse and scratchy to achieve his voice for Shaggy and Scooby-Doo. Even doing it in his car before his audition at Warner Brothers in Los Angeles. Imagine you're going to audition for Shaggy in the new movie, and the guy in the next spot is just fucking screaming in his car. I mean, it's probably how Shaggy feels all the time. The range of the coconut crab. An empire. I misread this as rage and got really scared. Never underestimate the power of a low-quality webcam to make you look good in a selfie. Mm. But if I don't hyperfixate, I'll get depressed and die. Oh god, I've run out of hyperfixations. Oh god. Oh fuck. Ugh. I feel so useless. No. Desperately takes through old hyperfixations. Come on, come on. There's gotta be something. Give me something. Amulet that makes you think about trains. Um, pocket watch. Me, a fool. 2020 couldn't get any worse, right? Mystery Skull's future. Oh, God, no. I told this woman I work with to have a happy birthday tomorrow since she's off, and she did a double take before asking me how I knew that. When I first started as their boss, I made a note of everyone's birthday so I can get them a small card or a gift. I told her that, and she stared at me for a few moments before saying, I don't like that. No, you don't know my birthday. I know it. And then, like, walked away. So this woman I work with has never been born, and I've never met her in my life. I'm sorry, but <laughs> no is so fucking funny. Strawberry milk doesn't taste like strawberry, but it sure as hell tastes like pink. Mmm, tea. No, girl, it's milk. Some YouTuber. Here's my fun AMV inspired by Scooby-Doo and Rhythm Games. Six years later. So here's the fourth installment of my anime. <sighs> Fuck, I feel cold out right now. Today I learned that when a domestic pig gets out into the wild, it will revert to its wild state in a matter of months. Growing tusks, a hairy coat, and becoming more aggressive. Now well, excuse me while I disappear into the wild and revert into a great ape. Are you saying humans are domestic apes? Are we not? Bigfoot is just a man who made a choice. The right choice. Ah, 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 it's me, Dracula. Happy Halloween. Ah, 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 ah. I have garlic. Fuck! <laughs> November is the Thursday of months. November is like if you took October and December, but instead of adding them together, you subtracted them from each other. I have no idea what this means, but I know it's true on a gut level. Yeah. Bro, what if we, like, accidentally kissed? In the garage. My, my, my dad said, okay, but don't touch his power tools or else I'm grounded. But, like, what if we accidentally kissed over his 20-year-old cordless drill while kissing the garage? <sighs> oh, my God, I'm getting grounded for this. What if this was all a dream and you woke up in your bed ungrounded and everything was fine? The kiss wasn't real. This miniature ecosystem has been thriving in an almost completely isolated state for more than 40 years. It has been watered just once in that time. The original single spiderwort plant has grown and multiplied, putting out seedlings. As it has access to light, it continues to photosynthesize. The water builds up on the inside of the bottle and then rains back down on the plants in a miniature version of the water cycle. As the leaves die, they fall off and rot at the bottom, producing the carbon dioxide and nutrients required for more plants to grow. And if you don't think this is the fucking radish shit, then get out of my face. And now a chart of forbidden cats. Only if you fear God. Me in public. Oh, I'm just so super innocent and polite. 
me at home. God damn it, what the fuck? Stop fucking falling on the damn floor! Pull your shit together! What the actual fuck? Ah, yes. The Aaron Hansen effect. Sure, you may be iconic, but have you ever looked at the Grim Reaper in the eye and told him that he has three minutes to eat an entire raw onion? I think so. I don't know what it is about sitting in chairs and having both feet on the floor, but it's so uncomfortable and awful, and I will never willingly do it if there's literally any other option. I mean, yeah. The weirdest guy I ever met in a church was this boy who referred to Buzz Aldrin and his husband going to the moon. I was completely baffled, and when I asked if he misspoken, he got really angry and accused me of being deliberately ignorant of the facts. It turned out he was somehow convinced that Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong were married. It took five Wikipedia articles to convince him otherwise. The moon landing was fake. Ugh, so tired, passe, heard it before. The moon landing was an elaborate marriage proposal. Fresh, sexy, I'm gonna be thinking about it for months. Okay guys, I just figured it out. The most base human desire is to just do stuff for strings. Weaving, cooking spaghetti, quantum physics, embroidery, duh, releasing your shoes to go on a run, a lot of instruments, knitting. Hold up, they're onto something. Y'all ever just in a mood to mutilate a JPEG? I got one of the best pictures I've ever made out of that urge. <gasps> Hunts! One late night, you are up in your room when you hear your mother calling you downstairs. You're halfway down the staircase when all of a sudden, you see your mom in front of your bedroom door. Terrified, she whispers, don't go downstairs. I heard her too. Who do you believe? The one calling me downstairs, they're lesbians, not ghosts. <laughs> Fuck, that was good. I can't stop laughing. <laughs> when a McDonald's employee dies. What does this even mean? Uh, it means you McPress, McF to McPay, McRespects. Duh. Thanks to Duolingo, I can ask people if they are a horse, but can't tell people what my name is in French. All right, ask me I'm a fucking horse, I dare you. Uh, tu es ton cheval? Nay. Oh, oh, you So my cute new neighbor just knocked to ask if he could borrow an egg from us. Then he asked if I could summarize to him how pancakes are made. Now I'm going over to his place and teach him how to make them. Cute neighbor now knows how to make pancakes. Does cute new neighbor know anything else? My number? Ship it! Things public school kids take way too seriously. Jeopardy, review games, kickball, and spirit week. Oh my god, this post is so American, I don't even know what half these things are. Psst, 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 psst. You kill anyone, Catboy? That's between me and God. I don't have my glasses, and I thought this was a squirrel. I mean, yeah. Stop bringing your evangelism to skateboarding class, Frank. It's skate or die, not skate or die for my sins. Separation of church and skate. This image is way funnier considering that this is Egypt and this snow was the first snow they got in 112 years. This man waited 112 years to slam dunk that snowball on this man's head. Worth it. Ugh, kids are just like... <laughs> until one day they're like, oh shit, I can think. And then it's all downhill from there. This helpful stingray offered itself up as a tent for a diver who decided to have to lie down in a seabed at Grand Cayman. <gasps> Blinky! A sea Blinky! Don Featherstone, creator of the Plastic Lawn Flamingos, 1957. Okay, he looks exactly how you would picture the creator of Plastic Lawn Flamingos to look. Today I learned the Greek philosopher Plato's real name is unknown, as Plato is his wrestling name. Oh my god, it's the rock in 2500 years. Plato means broad in Greek! There are recorded instances in Aristotle's notes of Plato settling debates by standing up and flexing. He was an Olympic gold medal wrestler. Dude, imagine reading Jumbo's dialogues, or the big dude's theory of ideas, or fuck huge McMike's allegory of the cave. <laughs> I just found out that it's stress awareness week. Well, mission accomplished. I am certainly fucking aware of stress. Thanksgiving is canceled in 2020. Instead, November will be a month of Dionysian madness. Casting curses, moonlight revelry, dubious self-care methods, ritual sacrifice, and mashed potatoes. And we're off to an excellent start! Big fan of the way moles sit in dirt with their arms out like they're in a hot tub. Look at this. Decadence. I sterilized my cat. 
so she wouldn't have any babies. And then she brought one from the street. You cannot prevent me from raising a family. I am monster! New Yorkers be like, hey, I'm walking here, hey, hey, I gotta get down square, hey, gotta ride the horse down the train station, hey, it ain't familiar, hey, can't get your New York bagel, hey. How dare you offend my people. Welcome to ADHD Emotions. Get ready to experience understimulation, overstimulation, the anger spiral, Wednesday forever. Oh God, they hate me. This whole grocery store hates me. And last. Can confirm, hate it. I paid for this ad spot because I hate ads. Enjoy this pic of a cute turtle instead. Peace. Ah, okay, out of good advertising. Hate is louder, but I believe you'll find love is wider and runs deeper. Love is thick. <sighs> you know what? I'll take it. No, 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 no. In 2021, we stop using thick and use thick, thick or bombast thick. Mr. Bombast Thick, Califantastic. Behold, Pyman Dick Axe. I'm sorry, wait, what? I believe they said Pymon Dick Axe! My house is strange. There's me, I'm bisexual, and I live with my gay brother and my asexual fiance. My brother and I have the same taste in boys, but I'm really the only one who likes girls, and my fiance is just generally really excited about dragons. Dude, I want this sitcom. Is generally just really excited about dragons? Today I learned a lobster's nervous system is so similar to humans that human antidepressants work on lobsters. I don't like thinking that lobsters can get depressed. Good news! That's actually almost all animals! Fruit flies get drunk to deal with it, and cockroaches malnourish themselves! That's not good news at all! They got me in some kind of secret facility, doing experiments on me. I have powers now. I'm gonna fight the government. Ah, oh, me when I'm an original character made by a 12-year-old. Why are there 10 loud saxophone players outside? There isn't even a metaphor, they're actually out there! I just passed three people with tubas! Uh, please consider... Marching band. Okay, see, here's the thing. That would make sense, except I'm at the gym? Uh, obviously, marching band wants to work out. Upgrade to running band. I didn't want to do my geology homework, so I stitched this cracker to the arm of the couch. Yeah. I raise you comic goddess who can draw kids, and offer you comic artists who absolutely cannot draw babies. Goo. What is a baby? A small man? I love it when cats dilate their pupils to indicate it's time to be fucking stupid. Wish I could do that. All right, guys. It's time to get...
people really be grown and still using umbrellas? Well, you're supposed to become waterproof after you turn 18 or something. Yeah, get right, Bianca. For the potatoes. The big difference from good old men's book to show is all they're gay and all they're gay. Today I learned there is no physical description of Jesus in the Bible. False. Luke 2.52. He's larger than a baby. By the description of him driving the moneylenders from the temple, we can also tell that he fit inside the temple, which gives us an upper bound as well as a lower bound on his size. It's been said that Jesus Christ was larger than a baby, but smaller than a temple. Glad we got that narrowed down. Behold, a man. I would prefer to not follow the man. Thank you. You already know what the fringe is going on. I 100% do not. The more I look at this image, the more confused I become. <sighs> Son of a bitch, everything's real. Bend the egg of God, and they will ever die in the dirt. No, actually, that was the worst interview in the history of their use. I have to fire you before ever hiring you. I have to double fire you. It's a nice day out. I can play video games with the window open or take a walk somewhere. I'm going to argue with someone on the internet. Talking to those online people again. That's great, it's good that you can hold friendships with people regardless of distance. I'm glad you surround yourself with friends. Okay, this is my first unboxing video. I'm going to unbox the joke box with a promise to joke in every box. Alright, here we go. Alright, our heads and ears and mirrors. What would you do anyway? Your bills would still be due tomorrow. The government still be taxing your RF funds. Blizzard up! 